Now then everybody and welcome to another one of my local rides around Boston Spa and Weatherby so this morning we're doing one of the Weatherby bike trails we're doing the Red Kite which is a big cross-country loop taking us from Boston Spa to Weatherby to Spofforth excellent leg spin of this and it's a ride I use for fitness training quite a longish ride it's 20 miles I think it's about one and a half thousand feet of climbing so not too bad for this uh, flat area so we're on the bridal way now what's running right next to the A1 and um, we're going to pop out in Weatherby Was good. All right, just crossing the A1. So here's Weatherby right in front of us, and the Red Kite Trail will be taking us through Weatherby. But I don't like going that way, so I'm going to join the Starling Trail, which is the other Weatherby bike tracks trail which is classed as a green but going this way keeps me off road longer and there's a nice little climb in a minute only a short one but got it steep and it doesn't have to get the uh, heart pumping so we're gonna go back under the motorway now By the way, just continues round, but we're going to go up here because we're going up this beast. Look at this, it's like a wall. Right, have it. Oh, shit. Oh, running out of puff, but nearly there. Oh. Right, so we're now on the Starling Trail. A little climb here, I like to power up this fast as I can. Oh. So here's the little signs to look out for on these Weatherby bike trails. So here's the Starling, the green. Come to a crossroads now, and the Starling Trail turns right, and it's just surface like this, it's just tarmac straight down the old railway line to Boston Spa. About a 10 mile loop, but we're going left, so back under the uh, uh, A1. Reminds me of Harry Potter, does this tunnel from Order of the Phoenix so we're in Weatherby now but not for too long we'll be picking up the old railway line to Spofford shortly alright so here we are here's the railway line to Spofford so I'm testing out another new purchase today I've bought myself a new seat so I've bought myself a WTB Pure with the thickest padding what comes on it and I'm liking it it's like sitting on my sofa it's probably three times thicker than the uh, fabric seat I had on so here we go at the end of the railway line that way 
to the back of the pub if you want a drink. So we're right here and look on that Harrogate sign there's the red red kite trail and we're turning up here to Park Lane so we're kind of heading back to Weatherby now we're just going to be around the back of Stockheld Park so I'm just going to alter this seat a bit really easy to alter the tilt on this um, SRAM access just undo this and turn another bolt here look that'll do just one click Tighten the back up. Yeah, so yeah, I thought this seat would look pretty crap actually with the bitten so thick, but it actually looks alright. Quite like it. Well that little adjust seems to have taken the tiniest bit of pressure off my bollocks. Right, so we're at the end of that off-road section, which was quite good. And we're in Sickling Hall. Just swing a right here. And keep to the right. And then back off-road. When I first did this ride, I was just so impressed with it. I mean, this is good, isn't it? Yeah, it's not your it's not your Yorkshire Dalesy type of riding, but for a leg spinner, straight out of your door, like in my case, it's brilliant. Oh, this is beautiful, isn't it? Right, I'm just going to make another adjustment on this. forward to the right to the end of the max line there lovely morning for it how nice is this it's quite nice is this bit A bit boggy at the top, but well, it's not too bad today. This is brilliant. <laughs> Well, that little adjustment on the seat, moving it forward on the rails has been a positive move, it feels quite good. Whew. Trying to keep my speed up for this climb. I like beasting myself up these little climbs on this ride. Because this trail for me is all about the fitness, not the sightseeing. Right, so we're at the halfway point now. So as you can see, this is the start of the Owl Trail. Owl is straight on and we're going left down the red bit. Yeah, so that's... Uh, the Owl Trail going that way. Oh yeah. So this is another good downhilly bit and the gates open. Yes. I think be a bit overgrown here so I need to be careful.
and it keeps giving this because we're going to descend again a bit rougher this section There you go. Oh, it's a bit overgrown down here, isn't it? Yeah. I would complain if I were. <laughs> Just be careful of all those nettles. I've been stung loads. Oh, yeah. Enjoy your walk. Thank you. All right, let the climb commence. Look how steep this is. I've got another little single track climb Not much of one but we are rewarded when we get to the top Because it's a really good single track descent One of my favourite parts of the ride actually Let's get this uh, seat dropped and let's have it Metals. Oh. Bit overgrown, it's a lot faster than this usually. And there we're at the bottom. Short but very, very good. So this is a good downhill bit again, but this is very, very popular down here. There's a little river, nice little bridge. I think there's a rope swing. So a lot of families come down here. Right. Oh yeah, there's someone at the bottom. So, never mind. Hey anyway, mate, don't bite that big thing, does it? Yeah, no. <laughs> Camp dog. You're all right, mate. I'll follow you through. Cheers for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers, bud. No, you're all right. Thanks. Yes, yeah, very popular. Very good descent, that as well. But usually I do this ride on the night and there's just no one around. This is lovely, isn't it? So that wood in front of us is Wuthersome Wood. So we're coming to the end of the ride. I think we've got another three miles. I don't know what to do down here. I usually dive into these woods. But it's just, I think there's just gonna be too many people today. It's 11 o'clock on a Saturday morning. Every man and his dog's gonna be in these woods, I think. So I might give it a miss. Oh, do you know what? Sod it. I've got as much right to enjoy these woods as anybody else has. And this isn't a footpath or a bridleway, it's not even on the map. So, I'll just pull over if there's any walkers. So far, so good. Probably be unrideable in the winter, so I may as well enjoy the trail while I can. Come to the end soon, so I've been quite lucky. Not met anybody. Now we're at the end. Oh, I'm so pleased I did it. up 
these. Yes. All right, I'll just turn off now. And this is the last section of off-road. And then we'll be back at the top of uh, Boston Spa. fast right and that's it now onto double track so there's the A1 right in front of us that's where we started the ride on that roundabout so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my local ride the Red Kite Trail 22 miles exactly is this ride two hours 16 minutes it's taken me to do it so brilliant little leg spinner right that's it we're back at the start point so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one